Habits versus willpower. Who's going to win? This is Toppy Lincecum with Shawnee Hypnosis and Counseling Clinic. In this corner, your habit mind. It's small, it's quick, it's fast. It floats like a butterfly and it stings like a bee. Your habit mind works faster than Muhammad Ali. There's only two things that it's thinking about. Immediate gratification and effort. What can you get? Where can you get? How can you get the most immediate gratification for the least amount of effort? And it works faster than a snap. In the other corner, willpower. It's in that frontal cortex and that big old brain of yours. It's got all the reason and logic and information. It weighs out all the angles with all the synaptic connections enough to fill a universe. It's big. It's powerful. It's, it's, it's slow. It's real slow, and it's got the boxing style of, say, Floyd Patterson or George Foreman. It just stands there in the middle of the ring, flat-footed, throwing haymakers that never land. Wah. Wah. Left to their own devices, if there's a fight between habit mind and willpower, uh, uh. habit mind's going to win every time. To add insult to injury, your habit is like riding a bicycle. Yeah, remember when you was a kid and you learned to ride a bicycle? And uh, even today, if I was to bring a bicycle to you and you may not be able to ride it as fast or as far, but you could still get on and ride one, well, you know, the information that your brain stored the same place that it stored that information on riding a bicycle, it's the same place that it stores the information on your habit. What I'm trying to say here is that you can't unlearn a habit. It's in there, just like riding a bicycle. And, well, barring some kind of freak brain damage, and I, I don't recommend that. I mean, a lobotomy, trust me, it's not the option you want to take. Let's go back, though. To the old days when you were riding a bicycle. Remember those days if you rode one when you was a kid? You probably rode it everywhere you went. You probably rode it every day. How come you don't do that now? Well, probably if you're like, well, most of us, you, you discovered cars and you started driving a car and that opened up a whole new world. And instead of going to, you know, your buddy, your instead of going to your buddy Jake's uh, you know, house down the road, now you can drive two, three states away and visit your Aunt Mabel. Or, well, at least maybe you should visit Aunt Mabel. When's the last time you saw Aunt Mabel? Anyway, the point is, you didn't unlearn riding a bicycle. You picked up a new habit, driving a car. And there's your very first clue. Expanding your world. You see, sometimes when you can find a replacement behavior for that habit and you expand your world and make it bigger, well, you go beyond the habit. That's how you outsmart it. So here's the deal. You remember the big fella, the big guy right there? You engage that rascal. You begin to figure out a way. You begin to figure out new things, new horizons that you can go beyond your habit. Sound crazy, sound wild, sound unattainable? Well, I didn't say it was going to be easy. But do you ever notice how your habits take you away from things? Sometimes take you away from things that you really ought to be doing. Sometimes takes you off alone because, well, it's easier to do them when nobody else is around. That's why it's important to have support groups and friends and people and, you know, Folks that you can go around with. That's why you have a buddy that you go work out with. That's why you have friends that you can call. And that's why you have things that you do instead of. Yeah, it's a first step. Now, I realize there's some habits out there that are just pretty doggone hurt, hard to shake. And, well, that's times when you need to find a good, competent counselor who can help you through some of those things. Sometimes you need new, new insights. Sometimes you need a different strategy. Sometimes counseling, in fact, you'd be surprised, and I've heard said it before, you'd be surprised how far just one or two sessions will really go. Sometimes you just need hypnosis that's going to kickstart that new horizon that you want to go after. If you want to give me a call, the phone consultation is free. 
in the meantime, well, maybe some of this information can kind of get you started. You know, engage the big guy, get things going, and, you know, have a great life. I don't got to explain that. You know what I'm saying.